Being told to do a factory data reset is a common troubleshooting suggestion for Android. This can be especially helpful after those big over-the-air updates end up breaking something like battery life, performance, or even introducing a random bug that just ruins our day-to-day -day routine. But many times we end up forgetting to back up our important data beforehand because we have tunnel vision and just want to fix the new issue that we've been forced to deal with. So I wanted to make a video as part of a new series here on the channel to remind everyone to back up your two-factor authentication codes before you wipe the phone clean. Some of these two-factor authentication apps have an online cloud backup feature but Google Authenticator does not. So if you're using this application from Google, then you're going to want to export your authentication codes ahead of time. We can do this by opening up the Google Authenticator app, tapping the three dot menu at the top right, and then selecting the transfer accounts option. It's going to give you the option to either export or import your accounts. And we're going to first go to export our accounts. So we're going to tap that. We're going to verify that we own this device. And it's going to give us a list of all the accounts we have added to this app. We're going to make sure that the checkbox is next to all of the accounts that we want to export. And then we're going to tap the next button and it's going to create a QR code that we now need to scan using a second Android device. Android actively blocks taking a screenshot when, within this app. So you could technically try taking a photo, but some people online say that this can, at times, cause an issue whenever you try to import the data with a QR scanner. I understand everyone is not going to have a second Android smartphone or tablet laying around, but unless you have root access to copy and paste this app data, then you're going to need a secondary device for this all to work. You'll need this other device to move the data onto so that you can then bring them back after you perform the factory data reset on your main phone. So once you have that QR code displayed on the phone, on the second device, open up Google Authenticator, go back to that transfer accounts option in the three dot menu, and this time select the import accounts option so that you can scan that QR code from your secondary account. You could try to take a screenshot with the popular ADB command, which I've done a tutorial on in the past. So if you're wanting to try that option out, I'll link to that guide in the video description below. Since Google Authenticator does not have a cloud backup option, it's difficult to recommend this app for someone who wants to handle their two-factor authentication codes. There are some great alternatives out there, such as Authy, that offer everything Google Authenticator does and more. I can link to this app in the video description as well for those who may want to migrate to a new two-factor authenticator app altogether but the option to export and import your two-factor authentication codes is available in Google Authenticator. It just doesn't have a way to back up your data to the cloud for cases like this. If you have a different two-factor authenticator app that you like to use, be sure to share the app name in the comment section below so anyone else who is looking for a new application to switch through can check that out as well.